वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो टूडे हैव अ टॉपिक फॉर यू दट इज मेनोपॉज सो लेट मी गिव यू मच डिटेल्स अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन सो वी ऑल नो दैट एवरी लेडी गोज थ्रू साइकिल कॉल्ड एज मैंशरल साइकिल एंड द स्टॉप ऑफ दिस इज कॉल्ड एज मेनोपॉज सो लेट मी गिव यू मोर डिटेल्स ऑफ दैट टूडे सो इट इज द एंड ऑफ मैंशरल साइकिल सो इन द नॉर्मल स्टेजेस लाइक फ्रॉम मे बी फ्रॉम ट्वेल्व थर्टीन ईयर्स वेन द girls reaches the puberty she starts developing this menstrual cycles and this continues over the years and at the stage of maybe 40 45 there is a chance that this stops okay so that is the normal cycle and that is the natural biological process so the stop in this menstrual cycle will take some time because of the reduced estrogen levels in that person so that stage where it starts the estrogen level starts declining and there is a complete stop for approximately 12 months so there has to be a stop in the menstrual cycle for 12 months then only we can conclude that the person has reached the menopause stage so it depends on the individual based on uh, the other factors it might for few it might be 40 some might some might be in 45 50 so it depends on the person and there are a lot of issues which comes here the most important one is they will have a lot of uh, vaginal dryness and vaginal itchiness infection those kind of problems apart from that they will have a lot of mood swings they might even go into depression and there will be a lot of sleep disturbances because they will have something called as hot flush okay the hot flashes that will happen they they'll have that uh, heat that happens in the uh, face neck region because of which they may not be able to sleep properly also so there are lot of issues which comes here because of the hormonal imbalance so this is just to show you a vaginal area and this is the uh, uh, ovaries so in this particular case there is a decrease in the estrogen production so which is leading to this uh, menopause stage so this is just to show you the ovaries and uh, in inside this there will be decreased estrogen production so just to tell you few numbers more than 50 million uh, women are uh, in us alone are in this stage of menopause so it is a natural biological cycle as i told you so every uh, uh, girl will go through this in her lifetime so there has to be minimum 12 months uh, uh, period without a period so that is how you can conclude it so just to show you different stages of menopause so pre menopause peri menopause menopause and post menopause so it, this age might depend on the individual but basically these are the few stages where the estrogen level you can see initially it will be high it starts deteriorating and at later stages there is very less estrogen in the body so that is how you can conclude that the person might have reached menopause or post menopause stages so coming to the symptoms most important one is irregular period so this might start with this you may have irregular periods in initially you might have a normal period that is every month you have a menstrual cycle so that happens continuously but when you reach maybe 40 42 43 it starts becoming once in 2 months once in 3 months once in 4 months so that is something called as irregular periods so that continues and finally you may not get a period for 12 months so that is the confirmation that you have reached the menopause stage other symptoms will be a lot of vaginal dryness because you are not producing estrogen at a higher rates that can lead to a lot of other complications like you may have dryness in the vagina itchiness and you may have even other infections which are happening because of that hot flashes i already told you so that is can lead to a lot of night sweating and you may not be even uh, able to sleep properly so mood uh, swings are one major symptoms of this and again you may have a lot of weight gain because of slowed metabolism in you your hair might start thinning so hair thinning is also one more symptom of menopause and your breast will have will not have uh, firmness because your estrogen level is going down the loss of breast firmness is seen in many individuals so just to show you uh, how the estrogen level in a person varies so this is just the age and this is your estrogen level so once a person reaches puberty the estrogen level starts increasing okay and in the menstrual cycles every month as i told you there will be increase and decrease in this estrogen level so that is why you can see there is a dip and increase here and when a person 
enters the pregnancy stage estrogen level will be very very high so that she is becoming ready for pregnancy and breastfeeding later so that is why you can see in that stages the estrogen level becomes very high and again after pregnancy again the normal menstrual cycle continues right so that is why you can see a increase and decrease in this levels so once the person reaches the menopause stage so might be 40s 45 50 depends on the individual so there you can see that there will be a dip in this uh, estrogen level and finally there will be very very less estrogen which has uh, marked as the post menopause phase so what exactly happens in the ovary you can just have a look here so basically in the ovary we have something called as follicles so this will be like a lot of follicles will be present inside and this follicles will have something called as fsh receptors so we know our uh, pituitary gland so that will release something called as follicle stimulating hormone so this is very much essential because that will uh initiate the process because that follicle stimulating hormone will bind to the receptor of these follicles and they activate it so they start maturing so this maturation happens in such a way that only one of the follicle gets matured and that follicle will be released okay so the ovulation happens and from that follicle a egg will be released in case there is a sperm which because of fertilization like if uh, the person has undergone a sexual uh, intercourse or something like that during this stage itself there is a chance that this egg fertilizes because of the sperm and then that leads to pregnancy so in case there is no sperm contact this egg will be uh, released and that will lead to something called as further deterioration of it will lead to menstrual cycle so what happens in menopause stage so in this particular stage what happens is your pituitary gland produces more and more fsh that is the follicle stimulating hormone so this will lead to desensitization of this entire follicle because there is too much fsh but there is the follicle cannot take it so in this way because of desensitization there will be decreased estrogen because the important thing here i forgot to tell you when this matures it releases something called as estrogen okay but now in this case when a person is in menopause stage what happens the follicle itself cannot be matured because of the desensitization of this follicle because of which there will be decreased estrogen production so because of this decreased estrogen production the entire ovulation only doesn't happen and we know that if there is no ovulation there will no be there will not be any menstrual cycle so as simple as that so this is the main reason for menopause because your follicle is not getting matured so when definitely you have to see a doctor when i told you these complications so if you are feeling that you ha have some of these symptoms then definitely you need to meet a doctor so they might do a lot of uh, testing thyroid testing might be done they may even examine you for your pelvic examinations or breast examination so those things will be done by the doctor and definitely if you are having bleeding after you have reached the menopause stage then again you need to consult a doctor because this is not normal once the person has reached menopause that is 12 months of uh, uh, no periods and then you have some bleeding then definitely this is something to do with cancer so you need to consult a doctor for this so uh, various causes for this as i told you so naturally because of the decline in the hormones in the person that leads to menopause certain times you might be undergoing some surgeries to the ovary like if you have uh, had uh, uterus fibroids ovaries uh, fibroids in the ovaries then in the early stage itself when you are 30 35 40 itself if the ovaries are removed again you will have face this menopause kind of situation and uh, if you are undergoing a lot of chemotherapy radiation therapy and that has led to the damage to the ovaries then also you might reach this stage of menopause and uh, apart from that coming to the complications because of menopause you may have a lot of cardiovascular diseases you can even have something called as osteoporosis i've already made a video on this if you have uh, want to watch this you can watch this to for more details so there what happens is your bone density becomes less because of which you will have your bones will be very weak apart from that some complications here are urinary urinary inconsistency that is you cannot control your urine so you you may have to rush to the bathroom or the washroom when you have uh, this problem so a lot of weight gain is seen in this uh, situation that can be uh, problematic to many of us so coming to the diagnostic approaches as i told you a lot of blood test is available to check the hormone levels so increase in fsh or decrease in estrogen is one indication that you might have reached this stage 
Apart from that, there are a lot of uh, over-the-counter uh, tests available, saliva tests, and uh, this will in turn, even urine tests are there, so that will help you in finding out the FSH level. But these tests are not very reliable and they might be expensive also. Apart from that, thyroid hormones can be tested. And recently, they have developed an uh, ELISA-based diagnostic test and this is uh, approved by FDA. So here what they check is they check a particular hormone called as anti-mullerin hormone. So even if there is small reduction in this uh, uh, particular hormone, you can identify the risk of uh, menopause very early stage. So this is a breakthrough research which will be very helpful in future. So coming to the treatment options, people might, uh, people might go for something called as hormone therapy. So this can, uh, there are pros and cons of this, but in case you cannot, uh, the uh, symptoms of your menopause is too much, then doctor might recommend these kind of hormone therapies. Apart from that, uh, to relieve from vaginal dryness, there are certain uh, uh, um, uh, gel kind of thing which can be used. And uh, in case the person has gone into depression because of this, then definitely antidepressants might be uh, recommended by the doctors. And uh, to prevent the uh, uh, loss because of the calcium which is not there in your bones, that is osteoporosis, you may have to take certain calcium supplements and vitamin D supplements. So lifestyle changes also can help like quitting smoking or having a balanced diet or having enough calcium or vitamin and vitamin in your diet, maybe through natural food itself. Certain times even they have seen that yoga can help. And there's something called as Kegel exercises. You can Google for this for more details. So that also can be very useful. So as I told you, bleeding after menopause is not normal. So you definitely have to consult your doctor immediately because this might be uh, something to do with the cancer of uterus or the cancer of vagina or cervix region. Even if you're having certain fibroids, then also you might have this bleeding and uh, infections in the uterine lining also can lead to complications. So coming to the takeaway messages, we have seen exactly what is menopause and definitely 12 months of not having a period will uh, definitely confirm this. So this might, this is a natural cycle as I told you, but there are a lot of symptoms which might be uh, very difficult for people to go through. So it might vary from one individual to another. So some might have a lot of symptoms, some may not have that much symptoms. So definitely uh, there are few diagnostic approaches which will help in identifying this and lifestyle modifications can definitely help. So if you are having this bleeding after you have reached the menopause and definitely you need to consult a doctor. So stay vigilant, stay safe. Thank you for watching. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Please like the video and share this video with maximum people so that even if somebody is facing this issue of menopause, this video might be some help for them. Thank you.